So why not just throw in the towel and say this this stock is a sell or at least a hold? Sure, it's a great question. I mean, look, the, clearly demand, we're starting to see cracks in terms of China as well as the U.S. So we had to cut numbers in terms of Q4 as well as 2023. And it's been just a horror show from Musk, really a Ted Stryker moment as he's navigated this Twitter situation. But our view on Tesla Long term, it's still what I view as a transformational leader in EV. I think the valuation started to get to a point where a lot of bad news is baked in, which is why we're not thrown in the towel. We're still long-term believers. But no doubt, this has been a nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, you know, because I was looking back at some of the things I've written about it, and we had spoken back when it was pretty much near its highs, talking about how it had a P.E. of over 100, and, and kind of calmly pointing out, well, so did Netflix one time, so did Amazon. You know, we've been here before. But this collapse, if we want to call it that, has been much more dramatic than certainly Amazon's, even than Netflix. Um, was that high P.E. ever justified now in retrospect? And what should a feasible P.E. be now for this company? Yeah, cool. Look, I think about 70, 75 percent of this is Musk Twitter driven. So I think that's what's unique. I do think because he's used Tesla essentially his own personal ATM machine to fund Twitter, that's been a huge overhang in the stock. And my view is this is ultimately going to be something where it's the biggest transformation to the auto industry since 1950s. Tesla continues to lead that way. Competition coming from all angles. But from a valuation perspective, I believe sort of base case is 175. They start to execute with call it five, six, seven dollars earnings potential. You could start to get back up to that 250 level. But now for Musk, after that Cinderella ride, I mean, he really needs to navigate Tesla through the storm. Do you think the fundamentals have been broken here? So one interesting facet of this demand story now seems to be, are people implying from, let's say, the, the um, incentives they're offering, are people implying that the base level of demand for Tesla is permanently lower than we previously thought, or did we just bring forward two or three years' worth of orders, in which case we have to wait it out, and then it gets to a higher level? I'm, I'm curious where you think that is going. Yeah, I think it's a, somewhere in between. I think there's definitely a bit of a pull forward that you saw, and Tesla was the huge beneficiary of that. I do think worries about brand issues, because Musk is Tesla, Tesla is Musk. Is that going to start to impact demand? And then ultimately, in terms of the global macro, you're starting to see cracks in the armor for Tesla, but also competition come from all angles. I mean, it's an arms race going on with EVs. You're starting to see they're not the only game in town. And that's why now this is a pivotal three to six months ahead. I believe they could successfully navigate it. But now it's really ultimately going to be, I'll call it a moment of truth, from Musk and Tesla to get through the storm. One more, and then we'll broaden this out to tech more broadly. Kim, I appreciate your patience. But, you know, so we had a formerly $1.2 trillion company. Um, I imagine you don't think it will ever get back to that size now. Um, why not make it a sell? And, you know, in retrospect, is there anything that, you know, the question is sort of anything that we didn't see coming? Um, is it just the extent to which the Twitter drama has has it permanently damaged the Tesla brand? Is he done with his stock sales now? I mean, there's so many factors here. Well, I think that was the biggest. I, probably the biggest thing is underestimate, even for Musk, is just how much of a train wreck this has been since late October. There was a thought that ultimately it would start to calm down. But instead, because of selling of the stock and because of some of the brand issues and what he's done on Twitter, I think that's something that's had just an unbelievably negative impact on Tesla as a stock. In terms of the valuation, look, Musk has done it before. He could do it again in terms of where EVs is going to go, four or five trillion that's going to be spent. But now no longer is it this magic Harper ride. He needs to navigate Tesla through the storm. And so far it goes back to like, he needs to be a leader, a CEO. It's no longer that Ted Stryker situation, which is what it's been, you know, for Tesla investors. Rocky Balboa is what it feels like as a bull every day at 9.30 a.m. And he said, you know, no stock sales now until 2025 or so. Do we, does anybody believe that? But that's that? the boy that cried wolf. Yeah. And that's why even on the Twitter spaces last night, everyone wants to believe it. But it goes back to that Pinocchio you know, situation. He now not just needs to talk to talk, but walk to walk. Kim, any comment on Tesla before we move on? No, not really. To me, it is a consumer stock because it's driven by people buying cars, right? And I've been somebody that spent most of my career looking at technology and how it adds productivity. And um, I think Tesla is more of a consumer play and brand is super important. So I agree with Dan on that.
But I love the tech people are always like, yeah, it's a consumer play. It's not worthy of our discussion here. All right, so let's talk tech. And I'm <laughs> impressed that both of you think that chips are a place to be for 2023 because that looks like it's in the middle of one of these overcapacity cycles. Kim, make the case. Absolutely. Well, it was a surprise whenever uh, the economy turned down this year, or actually when the Fed turned its rate uh, knob up to 11 and, you know, really did uh, a number on the bond market and the stock market. And that's showing up in a expected place, which is technology, right? And a lot of the names in technology are dependent on uh, having a low interest rate. And that no longer exists.